Oh, I was gonna start this video with an air of surprise by not having the giant box I bought from PlayAsia on the table to begin with so that I could have the moment where I slam it on the table and we all get very excited. But apparently Simon has decided that it's his bed. How we're gonna dive into this thing and explore the goodies inside, I'm not sure. No. <laughs> to take the scissors. <laughs> If you're gonna, so if you're gonna be sweet, sweet in this turn direction, <laughs> he's just gonna turn around so people can see That's how cute you are. Let me break this down for you guys, Kimberly. Yes. <laughs> you know how we made the videos, the the girlfriend you buy me I'm stuff familiar. from Etsy, yeah. and it really fun and awesome. Yeah. And then I bought you some stuff from Etsy, and then we did one where we bought each other stuff from Etsy. You heard of it? I love doing those, and I know you do too. Yeah. But we have ran out. Oh, no more stuff. There's huh? nothing left. So I've been racking my brains trying to think of where I can get things that are weird. You know what's a weird place? Japan. Okay. Japan, oh, they're wacky over there. Love them. Loved my time, our time in Japan, actually. Some of my favorite videos on the channel. Yeah. But oh boy, <laughs> ramen, oh, they've lost their mind. Ramen's delicious, actually. This is a box of weird Nintendo Switch accessories oh, okay. and video games that I bought from PlayAsia. PlayAsia, not a sponsor by the way, they're a very awesome site where you can buy things from Japan pretty dang cheap. You know what is a sponsor? I'll be honest, growing up, I never really ate cereal. Even when I was young, I knew that it was mostly sugar and junk that I shouldn't be eating. I still try to live a fairly sugar-free lifestyle. Heck, the recent video on my other channel was me showing you how I make my secret sugar-free ice cream recipe. So imagine my surprise when all of this rocked up at my front door with zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three net gram carbs in each serving, I can finally eat breakfast like a kid without feeling super guilty as an adult. <laughs> There's a ton of flavors like fruity, chocolate, frosty, and blueberry. The chocolate tastes exactly like the other chocolate brands you're thinking of, and it even flavors the milk to taste like a chocolate milkshake. Only crunchy. Do you guys have that commercial here or is that an Australian thing? Oh, and are you ready? Magic Spoon is keto-friendly, gluten-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. Oh, and if you want to grab a variety pack and try it today, just click that link below and use code BEATEMUPS to get free shipping or go to magicspoon.com forward slash BEATEMUPS. I ordered this months ago. In my mind, I was like, it's from Japan. They gotta send it. It's That's a far way away. It's probably gonna take a minute. It took forever, and so I messaged them, and they said, oh yeah, out of the 50 things you bought, one of them doesn't release until August, so we're waiting. Because of that, I honestly don't remember what I bought. There's only oh. one thing I remember that I bought. Let it snow, let it snow, don't hold it back anymore. Let it snow, let it snow. Something, something, something. All right, first one. All right, is it D-pad for the Switch? Yes. Okay. I'm very excited for that. All right. The reason why I got it is because I knew this is going to be the closest you can get to an official feeling Joy-Con. That's this color and with a D-pad. Take a feel of that bad boy. Tell me if you can feel a difference. It's a tiny bit lighter. Yeah, I know. It feels like a cheap crap. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, it immediately works out of the box, which I mean, good. yeah, it feels great. Oh, it feels awesome. I'm just touching the yeah. very quality D-pad, yeah. the very quality analog stick, and I'm having a great time. Isn't that all that you really need? I grabbed these guys. Oh, very nice pick actually. I thought it was weird because I've never <laughs> I've never seen these before in a western market but it does seem like something that someone would have tried releasing well, here in a GameStop. They have but for phones. Yeah but people are dumb. They don't see something know, for a phone and I then know. think they I can use that on my Switch. Well there you go. <laughs> It looks like a really small ring, though. So I have really nice, slender, attractive hands. I could have been a hand model. Many people have asked over the years. So I can't imagine anyone with chunkier digits trying to slide their hand down this thing. Maybe I'm playing Road Company and I just died and I'm just talking to you, whatever, and then suddenly, oh, it's go time and I'm right back in I the action. Here, you try it. Right. Kimberly, oh, I would like to offer you my 
bring Joy-Con in marriage. I feel like that's how most people would expect me to propose to you. <laughs> oh, this next one, I am very excited about. It's a speaker? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is, Kim. I hope it has charge. No time like the present. I've charged it all up. Why is my hair up? That is so loud. Holy. Okay, so it has a stand and it stands on its own. I can't imagine anyone wanting to play like this. Because that is deafening. But it sounds pretty decent. Oh no. What a monstrosity. So this is a portable fan for the back of your console. I don't understand how it's supposed to work. Ironically, plugging this into your Switch and running it while you're playing is going to heat up your Switch more because than this is going to eventually cool it back down. Wait a second. What? It doesn't plug into the switch. It, you charge it, it doesn't plug into the switch? No, you don't charge it because the pictures you have, have it plugged leave in. You it plugged in the whole time? Where do they expect you to be? Well, he's outside. How long is the extension cord he's got? I don't have a thing close enough to me, so we'll have to cut. I don't see how this is supposed to cool down anything. It's not going over any of the vents, and I'm not blocking any of the vents to find out. Also, this cord is so short. I have a port on my computer here, and I still have to get relatively close. So this slating back here runs super cold, and maybe putting this cold compress on it is what cools it down. It's almost like a, a self-cooling system. Maybe this actually does do something, but you still gotta... Plug it in, that's so impractical. For those that don't know, especially if you're in America, the brain training game that released digitally here got a physical release in Europe. I was actually lucky enough to be in Australia when it released and I picked it up. It comes with a stylus. I really like the way that the brain training one has like a really fat, soft end. It's just what I enjoy, man. There's like this protector plastic thing. protector thing, but I feel like if I yank on it any more than I am, I'm gonna break it. It looks like it's supposed to leave the plastic thing on it. It's a po what? Oh my gosh, you do leave the plastic thing on like it. I don't like it, give me the other one. I mean, to be fair, it works well. I don't know how precise we can be. We're gonna have to well, see. Let's... While Kim's trying this, I'll open up the next thing. Hmm. You bought two of them? <laughs> oh, that's for the dock, though. It's for the dock, okay, yeah. That one makes a little it's bit supposed more to cool the dock down. I don't know why I bought two of these, but I guess I'll test this one out while I'm testing out the other one. Is it really even a point? Because you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna stick it on the back of my dock, and it's gonna start spinning, and I'm gonna be like, cool. It's getting louder. This is just a trick because people hear about docks overheating. They're trying to sell you a solution to a problem that doesn't really exist. Especially with an official Nintendo dock. Like, yes, maybe your third party ones all overheat, but you shouldn't be using those anyway. And this piddly little fan isn't going to help. Is it kind of working? I mean, it, it does work. It's just very strange to have to look over the disc. I drew a cat. I mean, I don't think I could have done that with these. Oh, wow, Kim. I am very excited for this. How old are you that you need a magnifier for your screen? Excuse me? You gonna play Farmville on that? Uh, oh, it, what, go. look at that and tell me, look at the way he's popping out of the screen. That's a phone. Yeah, I know that's a phone. That's a switch. What's that? I don't, not the same thing. <laughs> oh. You want two? No, 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 no. I'll show you. It's not the same thing. It's actually almost the opposite. Oh, good lord. Why? This is not going to be I good. I love this. Oh, but it comes with a manual. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That is so cool, and it works. So where Kim's sitting right now. I can't see anything. She can't see my screen at all. I wonder if this will work on camera. So what this overlay does, you look right on, you can see it. But to the side, it blacks it out. Out of everything here so far, I love this the that's most. That's actually... 
good. Yeah, I like beautiful. this. I'm now realizing there's probably a reason why I love it so much. This is the first thing we've actually bought today. It's actually Nintendo. It's brand. Nintendo. It's Nintendo brand. I just noticed that it has Nintendo's logo up top here. It's a Nintendo product that actually didn't come out here. This happens every time you make one of these videos. I love ranking the things as yeah. to like the coolest to the worst. But that is number one. That is number perfect. Number one. Love it. Nintendo. All you make is quality things. It's Figured you. Like my granddad has one of these. What does that look like? Like a fish. Hey. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. Oh, it, it works. It do work, but like... In what situation would you need that? It's awesome! Like it works as well as something like this could possibly work. If you're nearsighted or something... Oh, there's a balloon. Please hold. Okay, we're not playing Animal Crossing right now. I don't know how well this affect... I mean, that's, it does. that's it a does pretty, work. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can, see it. you can get the idea. I'm just shocked. When I stop looking through it, like I'm aware of how small the switch is. Like you would think having a switch this big, like this is like twice the size. You would think that would be kind of extreme from Nintendo. I'm sat here playing it and I could have a screen this big. It might not be portable, but then how portable is an iPad Pro really? If mums can block my vision of the animals with their stupid iPads You're at the still zoo. You're so bitter about not getting to pet that koala. I didn't get to pet the Koala. Uh, well, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. That it? There's so much more. We gotta hurry <laughs> up. <laughs> this, but well, I just wanted to see what these would look like on the Switch. You know what I'm realizing at the moment? We could create a monster. We could put these on, that on, this on, that on, oh, yeah. and this on. We could create something very special. <laughs> something that will overheat in about two seconds. I don't think that's making anything any easier. I just... That is ridiculous. I guess you can push it from here. Well, if you're gonna be all gentle about it. I'm talking about you're about to get that big W in Fortnite. Oh. It's you and one other person and you're trying to smash. Look at that though. It looks like my Joy-Con's about to take flight. We have three things left and they're all oh, pretty all right. cool. Oh, I see something Animal Crossing color. Oh yeah, what did I buy? Oh, that is sweet. Good job, me. Yeah, yeah you're, you're the Animal Crossing person. Right. You, you, I'll you take do that. This. I mean, they're so tiny. They're so Why are they so small? They feel exactly like an old controller I used to use when I was a kid. I had this really like weird third party controller. It was small and it felt plastic and that's what these feel like. I'm getting nostalgia holding these. I feel like this would be really good for like small children. Oh, I remember what they're for and why they say Switch Lite. They are specifically these small controllers that if you only had a Switch Lite or you're taking a Switch Lite somewhere, you take your controllers with you, probably in this bag, which is probably why I bought the freaking bag too. I'm now remembering what I did two months ago, Play Asia. Oh yeah. So now when you get to your friend's house, real good. Yeah. the Switch Lite goes on the table. Where's you your... get these two little mini controllers and both you and your friend can play the Switch Lite. Yeah, this one's like I, half of a Switch. <laughs> well, no, actually, look how much room there is. You can yeah. put a normal Switch in there. Switch Lite, my butt. So I don't really know much about the, uh, I don't, know. The I don't even know what it's called. It's a Taito Taito no ta Taiko no no bueno. All I know is this is a big thing in Japan and whenever Kim and I go to arcades, especially our local arcade, yeah. there's a giant one of these. Yeah. Why is there a hole on the end? Uh you don't wanna know. Oh that's really nice. Yeah. Oh I'm really excited Let's about this. This feels super quality and I think this is gonna be a lot of fun to play. I will play this on a Twitch stream because I think that would be really fun. I might even be live tonight. <laughs> Imagine that. You went to Twitch right now and there I am. Who knows? Only way to find out is to go and, and see and hit follow while you're there. Oh, there. they have a little- I thought they did. <gasps> that's- ah, That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> I mean, well, we can't attest to this without playing it. No. So we'll leave it out of the yeah, voting yeah, criteria. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're going for I've, I've it. weird screen that I love, pen, bag. Mini controllers. Mi what about the D-pad? Right after those. I right guess. after those, she guesses. Magnifying glass. Fans, we haven't tried. As of right now, yeah. we haven't, but you've seen it. Yeah, and then the little dongle things. Yeah, I think yeah. so. And then this is its own thing. I'm sure it's yeah. fun and we'll play that later. Well, you know what we have to do now, Kim? What do we have to do now? We have to see how much stuff we can fit on this switch. That didn't sound good. So here's the problem with building the beast. The magnifying glass, the way that it connects over the switch, it doesn't like that we have the other overlay on. So it keeps coming off and I have to keep holding it here. Oh yeah, and 
There's no way that yeah, we can put yeah. the speaker on. Yeah. Wait. Is there? Yes. Oh no. He's ready. <laughs> we have created a monster. This is the Nintendo Switch's final form. But you can't get your satisfied grip on it, so really... If I just hold everything together, it technically... Yeah. kinda works. But I can't really even use the grip because I have to have my hand on the back of everything else to keep it all in place. That's it, I'm done. I really enjoy making videos like this. I like making videos with Kim. I like buying stupid things off the internet. It's a win, 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 win. And I hope you had a good time too. Check out the sponsor, links down below. I'm trying to see how loud it would get. Oh, it gets loud. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>